Hey you guys, welcome to the Doxy Takeover. Good morning, wherever you are in the world. I am getting my morning started. And as you can see, I've made it to my favorite spot. This beautiful pond, I go here and I talk to God. I release, I just get in tune, um, you know, even write gratitude letters. It's just beautiful just looking at his creation, just looking at the water just flowing. It's just beautiful and the greenery. I mean, you cannot be mad at this scenery, y'all, at all. <laughs> it's lovely. How cute are these turtles, you guys? They were just adorable. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't scare them. So after that, I had to make my way over to the library because I have a goal this year to get in touch with reading. So I ended up grabbing two books, A Piece of Cake by Cupcake Brown and Dapper Dan. Oh my gosh, two memoirs. And I've started on Dapper Dan. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. He is amazing. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, y'all. I have made it back home. I just took some Pepto Bismol because I'm not sure why I'm feeling nauseated, like indigestion problems going on. It's sitting at the top of my stomach and it feels gross. Um, I just got back from the library, you guys. As you guys know, I'm literally starting over. This is my July 1st. Well, this is July 1st. Um, I've already read two books this year. My goal is to at least accomplish at least five books this year. I was looking for the book called Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. Um, cause I watched the series on Hulu, the first season, the second season supposed to come out. I'm not sure when, but I really just want to, I just want to read the book. Cause I know the book is, it's going to be dripping like with tons of info. Like the books are always better than the, the, um, movies and series. Um, but I would just love the fact that she got an opportunity to create her book into a series. My goal is to try to find a fashion book, but I came across Dapper Dan, and Dapper Dan is a legend in the fashion world. Like, he's literally an icon. Um, so I wanna read more about him. I want to I want to check out his memoir. So I grabbed two memoirs to read. She Has Goals Journal 2024. I have cracked open my journal. It is not full because your girl has been having some trials this beginning of the year. Um, but I will link the website. It's really, really good, y'all. Um, I get one every year, so I love it. Love the color, love the feel of it. It's just bomb. So I'm actually going to fill in my scheduling in this journal because it has the places for me to fill those in. Um, as you guys can see, it has what's the priority. So I'm about to fill in my top three, my hour to hour, when I get off of work, fill all those in. I'm feeling so, y'all, I'm just trying my best to, you know, I just felt, I wish I felt better, but this came out of the blue. Like I was at the library walking down the aisles and started feeling nauseous. And so, I'm gonna do this no matter what. And then I'm going to kind of relax. I think the first book I'm gonna start on is Dapper Dan. But I don't know, I'm also like, ooh, a piece of cake. Child, it's gonna be Dapper Dan because the goal was to find a fashion book. So we're gonna stick with that instead of going off strip. So today is the day that I go to my first shoulder doctor and i pray that everything goes well with this particular doctor meaning comfortability um 
solution, just everything, communication. It is Wednesday, July 3rd, this right side. It's, I thank God that it's not as bad as it was in the month of February. The month of February, I can even lift my arm. Um, let me get my coffee. I just got off the clock. I am on my way to my mom's house. We are about to go to this no, new grocery store that she wants to check out. Well, she's already been. She told me I need to check it out. So I'm headed there to pick her up. Um, and then I'm gonna pick up some items, taking you guys with me just so y'all can see what it's like, um, what they have. Um, this really sucks having to hold this phone because I don't have a tripod. And every time I put the phone down, it falls um, when I press the gas. So I did want to give you guys an update. So today I can't keep holding my right shoulder. I mean, my right side like that. But today I went to the orthopedic doctor. I think that's what it's called um, regarding my shoulder and he took a look at my shoulder. He took x-rays. He um, made me do like, you know, some things or um, as far as, um, you know, movements. Um, and uh, yeah, so he gave me an injection in my shoulder. Feel really good with him, really comfortable. He, could, he said he could tell that um, since the pain is not as intense as it was when originally um, in what, February? I couldn't raise my arm y'all so he said it sounds like whatever it was it's healing um it doesn't sound like it's a torn something he said um but he told me that he wants to start me out with physical therapy and he gave me the injection in my arm so that we could um get that pain under control which my pain level has been like at, at a five but every now and then like if it rains baby that pain is intense honey you hear me that pain is something that you don't want to play with and that's the only time like i told him that's the only time i would take those pain pills because i really don't like taking pain pills that's why he gave me the injection to stop that and then to, um his plan is to start the physical therapy um and then from there i follow up with him to see what the next plan of action um, should be. And so he made me feel real comfortable. He basically told me to spill the timeline. Excuse me. So I gave him the rundown on the time timeline. And um, yeah, so, excuse me. I had, I, like I told him, I love to work out. I have not been able to work out. <laughs> Your girl done gained so much. But even though we all know 80% is nutrition, what you put in your body, and that 20% is your exercise. So it's me, I can blame it on the food. I've been eating good, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, but yeah. Y'all, we at Joey B's. About to see what they about. So I just left out of Half Price Bookstore and I grabbed black cake oh my gosh i was about to go to target to buy it but while i was in there i was like let me just ask and see if they have it and they had it for 13.99 looks like it was originally from target 13 30 percent off there's the target logo on there but oh my gosh i got a charmaine wilkerson novel this series on hulu omg it's bomb I also grabbed the inflammatory action plan um, because your girl is just trying to do better. And then this one, God in Anatomy, this is my husband. He grabbed that one. But um, yeah, we were in there looking for like a bot. Well, we were looking to come to the uh, Family Christian Bookstore to get my son a Bible to get it and, and to... Um, to also get his name engraved in it but they closed the bookstore down so we just ran into um half price to see um you know if they had any new bibles basically but yeah y'all it's the 
lot of skis. Pull the thing up. Cinnabon. And then we have a keyboard. Oh, okay. it looks pretty good. Let's see. And James got. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? It's the newt. <laughs> And I liked how he broke it down. He just turned 17. Um, and he can easily upgrade his Bible whenever he feels the need to. But his parents brought him this one. It's a beautiful blue and gray color. I think he's really going to love it. He has everything in here. I'm going to fill this part in real quick. And then I'm going to go in and gift it to him. Like anybody 